In reality, pro gaming is a job just like any other and isn't free of the headaches, hassles or stresses. Welcome to WatchMojo.com and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 pro gamers who quit for shocking reasons. I hate playing League and solo queue because I have to rely on four other people and I've just played the same game for too long. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at pro gamers who walked away from competition on their own terms, having quit, retired, or left the industry for some crazy reason. Because of this, we'll not be including popular pros who received bans like League of Legends gamer Lee Vasily Weijun, StarCraft 2's Choi Yoda Byung Hun, or Overwatch's Kid X. Number 10, Wei Sing Sing Yun, Dota 2. Wei, hey, push him up! After failing to qualify for both the North American and European regionals at the 2016 Boston Major Tournament for Dota 2, celebrated pro gamer Sing Sing announced his retirement from professional play and his team, Kaipi, disbanded as a result. Having never lived up to his expectations in tournament play due to frequent roster changes and internal issues with Kaipi, Sing Sing decided to walk away from the grueling world of esports and place all his efforts on streaming, leaving his fans disheartened but also relieved that he didn't quit gaming for good. Yeah, I think end. It's triple lane here and he's solo bottom with the sanking whatever it is. Number 9 Austin Link Shin League of Legends so I know I've been out of the competitive scene for a while, and I know a lot of fans um, in the past have asked me if I'm going to play professionally again. This pro gamer provides us with an example of how to rage quit something if you forever want to burn every bridge imaginable and leave zero chance for a return. Tired of playing for a losing team and feeling completely burnt out from the demanding travel and schedule of esports, Link didn't just quit and quietly ride off into the sunset, oh no. Instead, he wrote an 18-page screed titled The Dunzo Manifesto, decrying his teammates and even the game of League of Legends itself before throwing in the towel. Link would eventually return to the competitive scene with Team Liquid in 2017, but no one could forget his epic retirement. And with this, we'll be able to work really well together, and that's why I feel like CLG is doing a lot better. Number 8, Michael Bunny Fufu, Curry Low, League of Legends. This is the rune page we are going to run. Boom, baby. Lethal Tempo, which a whole bunch of other synergizing runes. It's going to be crazy, okay? Holder of the title for cutest name in esports, Funny Fufu decided to step away from professional League of Legends play to focus on streaming full time, which left fans wondering if he still had what it took to play professionally, while others questioned if he sold out for clicks and advertising dollars. While we'll never know for sure, it's safe to assume that declining skills, an easier schedule, and money all played a role in his departure from competition. And seeing as he's still part of the Cloud9 brand while streaming on Twitch, we can't blame him for wanting a lighter schedule and easier money. Oh, dude, it's time for BF Sword. Okay, three huge life seal ops. I'm just gonna go Soul Baron. Right. Number seven, Ben Gated Brewer, StarCraft 2. The can't hive stand the water. They can't stand, Zerg can't stand water. They like creep. Gaming addiction is a growing worry in modern society, as people come to prefer the virtual realities of created worlds to that of everyday life. Ben Brewer was one of these people, finding himself at a crossroads in his life where the only places he felt safe and at ease were the online worlds of StarCraft II, Warcraft, and Dota, calling them his home away from home. After playing StarCraft II professionally for two years, he could no longer deny that gaming had a wholly negative impact on his life and decided to give up video games altogether. Zealots are going to be able to tank quite a bit of damage, and then he can use those. Uh, oh, I love the cannons! Oh, Gator building cannons! I love it. Yeah, the cannons are active. Number six, Bryce Machine Bates, StarCraft II. Uh, it's always a pleasure to meet you, as always. Um, today, I actually wanted to talk a little bit about your performance and your participation in IPL Season 1. What age would you say is over the hill in professional sports? 35? Well, in professional esports, by the time you're 25, you're considered at the end of your career. 
as the average age range for pro gamers is somewhere between 18 and 27. At 19, Machine was one of the top-ranked StarCraft II players in the United States, but when he was 25, he felt he could no longer keep up with the younger gamers just emerging on the scene, and so he hung up his controller for a more leisurely life. Um, and I think that'll be it for us. Number 5. Connor Richie Rich FIFA 18 So you've got yourself a Manuel Neuer in goal. Obviously he's massive yeah. and he's high rated, yeah. so I can see why you've chosen that. Mental health issues are no joke in esports, as demanding schedules and public pressures often wear players down. Nowhere is this more common than in the FIFA community, where pro gamers need to play 40 competitive games in the span of three days in order to become the FIFA Ultimate Team Champion. That sounds hard enough, but add continual patches and updates that constantly change the core of the game, and we can see why Richie walked away for good in order to protect his mental health. Citing that he no longer enjoyed playing the game he once loved due to incredibly high stress levels. Number 4 Elta and Strobe Overwatch no. Convinced that a newcomer, 17 year old Korean known as Gegory, was cheating in competitive Overwatch play because she was too good, two male Korean pros vowed to quit if they were wrong. And boy, were they wrong. Blizzard investigated the claims of cheating and found that, to the dismay of her two detractors, she was actually that damn good. In fact, to clear her name, she went to a local games broadcaster and played live, proving her skill. Good to their word, the two accusing Overwatch pros quit in shame. Number 3 Marcus Dyrus Hill League of Legends League of Legends has been a game I played for around 8 to 9 years, 7 to be 10, I you know, I kinda lost track. Anyone who's played League of Legends for hours on end knows just how draining it can be. Now imagine carving a career out of playing it non-stop. We can only imagine how tiring and frustrating pro play can be. Dyrus had enough of this frustration and exhaustion and suddenly stopped playing and streaming League to the confusion of his fans. After much questioning, he released a short video explaining his reason, saying that he was reaching unhealthy levels of depression, and if he kept on playing, he'd probably be dead. I understand if you don't want to watch me because I'm not playing League, that's, that's fine. Uh, but if you do come into my channel and ask me to play League, uh, it's not going to change. And don't ask him if he'll be returning anytime soon either, as his answer is quite clear. Number 2. Matt Delor Vaughn Overwatch Seems legit. Why you peeking at? I'm not P dude. Okay, I After unleashing a torrent of racial slurs in a hate-filled rant live on his Twitch channel, there wasn't much space left for Delo in the esports world anymore. He claimed he was having a bad day and the frustration of losing in competitive Overwatch play was the proverbial straw that broke the camel's back, which led to the now viral outburst. But in the end, it doesn't really matter what led him to make these comments as both his team and Twitch dropped him for breach of contract. Della took it one step further, however, and quit competition altogether. Wow! You're actually gonna say that! Now yeah. you have my attention. You walked out. <laughs> Number 1 Gonzalo Zero Barrios. Super Smash Bros for Wii U. Zero runs it back after getting that banana pull. Ooh, nice. That was a beautiful read coming out from Zero. Being the world's top Smash 4 player isn't all it's cracked up to be. Just ask Zero. Just a few months before retiring from competitive play, he had to hire a bodyguard to protect him during a tournament in Santa Ana, as he'd received death threats online. Thus, with insane pressures mounting in his professional life, Zero decided to call it a day three months later, saying that he'd accomplished all he wanted to and that the daily grind was no longer worth the impact it was having on his health. He didn't rule out a return when Super Smash Bros Ultimate hits the Switch later this year, however, but for now, he's retired. Right there, Zero. 
Oh my uh -oh. gosh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Zero! Oh my, I don't think he'll be able to recover. I don't this think so either. This is looking impossible. Zero's going way off the stage doing a couple back airs. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.